Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we are going to show you how to use a, a forensic tool called the FTK Imager. And uh, this tool can be used to create an image of a, a whole disk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you how we create an image of a USB disk. Then I'm going to show you how to use the FTK Imager to analyze the files within the image. OK, so now I'm going to insert my USB disk into a USB slot here. So now you can see, actually, there's a, the USB disk hooked onto my file system. There's nothing here, right? And uh, so it's good. And uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use uh, the FTK Imager 2 to create an image. So I'm going to do create disk image, physical drive. And I'm going to choose uh, this uh, USB drive. It's one gigabyte. OK, finish, good image destination and uh, so you can choose different format for the image so i'm going to just choose dd which is uh, used by linux and the unix a lot and the case number here I will, i'm doing i'm going to do this case number gen cyber 2021 test Two and evidence two because uh, I already did this one time. You need description, okay? CNC examiner, mommy notes test create image destination folder. So where do we save this newly created image? So I'm going to save it into my disk here. Okay, so I'm going to save it to where? To here. Okay, so maybe I'll put a gene server here. Okay, and the image file name and CNC uh, finish start Take some time. Okay, great. So we are done. So the image created successfully. Great. And uh, so, okay, so let's find the, the file here. The file is within this folder. And it's in here. Okay. So this is uh, the image. Now I'm going to open this uh, image using Aptic Imager within our virtual VM. So we already copied everything to here, so you don't need to do anything, although the file name will be different. So let me show you here. This is like the here. And I have 
ticket imager, right? You can see previous then I created this image file and uh, the same thing, the same disk. And uh, but I'm going to do this again to give you a complete example. So I just copy this here. You cannot do this uh, for the seven range VMs because uh, seven range VMs actually are stored somewhere in the cloud. And uh, so we don't have the tool to do this kind of drag and drop. And, uh, but what I'm going to do here is, um, so now, and uh, I'm going to show you, okay, we can use FTK, FTK Imager and to, to find out all the deleted files, okay? The reason you can find out is because within Windows, right, when you delete files or delete folders, you only actually delete the indexes of those files. And uh, everything can be recovered. The extra files are not deleted if we don't add more files to, to over there to the disk. And uh, so now let me show you how it works. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna do add evidence added and the image file because I'm going to open an image file. And so I'm going to choose this uh, ICNC.001. That's uh, the one we just created. Okay, and then finish. Okay, so this is the actual image file. And uh, if we want to see all the files, we come to here, we show every tree, and we show file list. Great. So now basically, here, FTK Imager show you the structure of this whole disk. Okay, so we can just open it, open it, open it. You can see the cross means this folder is deleted. But really, we can recover everything. You remember, when we look at uh, the physical folder here, right? You don't see anything. But uh, FTK Imager allows you to see all the deleted files, right? And then you can see here we have images. If I click here, you see that actually the, the original image, right? And uh, here we have a lot of file uh, corresponding to this uh, JPEG file and it's called a file slag. So the file slag is uh, the storage space occupied by JPEG, but uh, it's actually not used, okay? So normally we allocate more storage space for a file, and uh, this is called, not unused space, it's called file slag. So this is a demo of using FTK Imager, creating an image of a physical disk, and the demo of using FTK Imager to open the image to see all the deleted files.